Hey. How are you doing? I'm a little tired. How's Dinah? Doctors gave her something to sleep, but, you know, she's uh, hanging in. Oh. All right, well, then I won't disturb her. Um, Ross is, is probably in there with her. I, I called his office, and they said that he was coming here? Yeah, he, he was here a little while ago, but he left. Uh. Is everything okay with you two? No, n I, no, actually. What? Uh, you know, Hart, I, I went so hard to, to avoid a custody fight. And I was kind of hoping that, that the two of us could sit down and we could talk about the boys and then maybe we could talk about us and it might get better. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll keep my fingers crossed. I didn't know it was like this. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Glad you're my brother. You know that? Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I'm your brother too. <laughs> Listen, hmm. I think he went to a place called Millennium. Millennium? What? Why would he go to the He had club? some kind of a dinner meeting. Well, that's an odd place for business. Oh, well, well, maybe I can uh, catch a few min minutes before his client shows up. Thanks for the tip. Anytime. Okay. You look awful. Are you all right? Thank you, Blake. Oh. I'm okay. I got, actually, I got to take off. I'll, I'll, good luck. Okay. I have a feeling that tonight might change everything. Okay, okay. How's it going? Keep it popping, buddy. Hi. How's the tips? Tips are good? Oh, yeah. Good. <laughs> Welcome to Millennium. Oh, have a good one. Hope you come back. I remember you from the other night. Welcome back. Thank you. You've got a great place here. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Um, can I get you a table? Um, no, actually, I'm early for a dinner with Ross Marler. I'll just wait at the bar if that's okay. That, that's fine. Um, I'll let you know when he gets here. Thank you. You're welcome. True. True. There's something you need to know. If you oh, don't already know it already. Oh, Jesse asked me to marry him. And I said no. You said no? Listen, it doesn't mean we're breaking up and that we don't love each other. Jesse and I will get married someday, and just because it's not tomorrow doesn't mean that we're not committed 100%. So don't get any ideas about dropping by at 4 o'clock in the morning for a cup of sugar or anything else. Oh, no, no, no. You're starting to doubt the two oh, of you. Oh, finally! Stop trying to undermine us. It won't work. Oh, okay. No, no, no. I mean it. If you and Jesse are going to be neighbors, we need to decide how we're going to deal with these. Okay. First of all, I don't like my tenant's girlfriend telling me what to do. Oh, well, get over it. Because one word from me, and Jesse won't be your tenant. And if you push me, I'll see to it that he quits working here, too. Okay. Fine. Let's talk. Good. But not here. I don't want Jesse to see us. Well, it's a nice night, Michelle. You want to go to the beach? Sure. Just let me go tell Jesse that I'm going to be out for a while so he won't worry. And you're the one that should worry. Postponing the wedding was a big mistake. Plenty of how may I help you? Yes, this is Mrs. M Ross Marler. Uh, could you have my husband, Paige, please? He is having a business dinner there. Actually... I know your husband, and he is not here right now. Oh. All right. Well, when he gets there, will you tell him that his wife is on her way? Will do. Say thank you. Thanks, Jenna. It's a lovely tie you're wearing there. So, what is uh, for dinner? Oh, I think uh, Greek salad, souvlaki, stuffed grape leaves, the same classic dishes I'm planning to serve at my daughter's wedding reception. Oh, I see. Well, ethnic food is very chic these days, but I think more traditional fare would be appropriate for oh, the wedding reception. Oh, you're so right. You yeah. know, I forgot the baklava, guys, didn't I? Guys, Harley and I will make up a list of food items that we want to have at the reception. Okay. Buddy. Honey, there's that thing that I need to talk to you about that I forgot I had to talk to you about. Okay. So, have you thought about where you're going to have this meal? Uh, the Toastmasters have a big new clubhouse, and me being a charter member, I get a break on the price. You know. They see. You got a problem with that? Uh, no, no problem, Buzz, but a little concern. Oh, yeah. Could you define concern? Uh, well, I don't think a meeting house is a problem place for a wedding reception. Alan, it has plumbing and electricity. What more do you want? 
Well, uh, enough room to accommodate the guest list I'm planning on inviting. You're pl um, how, many, how many, uh, stuffed shirts are you planning on inviting, Alan? Well, here's the list. I'll let you do the math, Buzz. <laughs> These are business associates of mine, uh, but you won't have to worry about the motels, the hotels, uh, the limos. My secretary will take care of all this that. Is, I, this is, you know, I, <laughs> This is funny, but you know what we're doing is we're planning a wedding here, you see, and, uh, you know, it's a celebration with family and friends. If you want to invite a bunch of suits and entertain them, then uh, get a convention hall. No need for that. The country club is already reserved. Reserved? No, I think the word you're looking for is inbred. We can always do the high school gymnasium. Listen, Buzz, I don't want to insist on this, but my hands are tied. You see, a Spalding wedding is a very big mm -hmm. event here in Springfield. Check your program. It is a Cooper wedding. And the father of the bride is me. So I call the shots. Look, I have no problem with you having input, but since I'm paying for everything... Who I says you're picking up the tab? Well, Buzz, I don't, I, I don't expect you to pay. Is that so? That is so. So all you have to do is sit back, relax, and I will take care of everything. Why doesn't Hart come visit us anymore? Well, because, um, he's been a little busy. But I think everything's gonna change. I hope. You like Hart, don't you? Mm-hmm. Sometimes I used to think he would be my daddy and move in with us. Sometimes I used to think that the same thing. And maybe after we talk tonight, that'll happen. Really? Yeah, wouldn't that be a dream come true? Okay, when I count to three, I want you to blow out the candles for your brother, okay? Yeah. Ready? Mm -hmm. Get close. One, two, three. She's a little short-winded. Hey, come on. Are you happy? Yes, I'm very happy. Yeah. yeah, I have you. I have Tammy. I have Hart Jr. and little Sarah on the way. I am so happy. I have everything I want. Was it worth everything we went through to get here? Absolutely. You go upstairs, climb back in the bed, say your prayers, and I'll come up there and tuck you in. I'll say an extra prayer for Hart so that he would come home with us. Okay. And you. You have a right to know who your daddy is. And Hart has a right to know that he has another son on the way. Oh, God. I'm in the hospital again. <laughs> How could I forget? 